Texas Robotics is a group of faculty that spans four different departments mainly. The core faculty are in computer science, electrical engineering, aerospace engineering, and mechanical engineering. We actually have affiliated faculty from many other departments across the university. It's basically all the, all the faculty who are, who are interested in uh, the research behind cutting edge robotics and that spans all the way from building um, you know, the motors and the, the parts of the robots, the mechanical engineering, the electronics, the electrical engineering, up to the intelligence, the, the artificial intelligence, the human robot interaction aspect of it and so it's a group of faculty and students who are pushing the state of the art in all of these areas. In my own lab I've, I have a, um, a robot soccer team uh, that participates in international competitions. We've won the championship several times. I had a car also in the DARPA Urban Challenge so I've contributed to the research on self-driving cars. There's some faculty in mechanical engineering who are doing some great work on robot surgery, so helping surgeons be able to, to do surgery when they're not you know, in, in sort of a remote setting. We have some da Vinci robots that are, that are robots that, that are, are built for that purpose. There's some people doing um, uh, research on rehabilitation, helping people who are recovering from, from strokes um, be able to, to regain their motor skills using exoskeleton robots or, or um, prosthet prosthetic robots. These are all different faculty that I'm, I'm talking about and if you come to the Texas Robotics website you can see all of the different labs from the different faculty and the different topics that, that we're working on. So we just launched this year, this fall, a, a minor in robotics that's available to, to students in the, in the core departments. Um, and uh, so there's the first cohort of students now in the minor is, is already taking their, their introductory class. There's a sequence of five classes they need to take. So they'll get a trend you know, on their, their transcript that they have a minor in robotics. There's also some streams in the freshman research initiative that are available to incoming students to work on robotics. Um, some of those students, their projects are here and being shown. There's also some more informal undergraduate student organizations. There's three undergraduate organizations that work with robots and some of their robots are on display here. And we also have a graduate portfolio program available to masters and PhD students to get um, a transcriptable certification in, in robotics. So I work in Dr. Nick Fye's lab and that research area of focus is biomechanics. So our lab is called the Systems for Augmenting Human Mechanics. Um, so we work on all kinds of mostly lower limb mechanisms for augmenting human movement. Uh, this right here is our open source leg. So. It's an open source project, so multiple research labs across the country have access to this so that we can standardize that sort of research. Um, I work on embedding sensors in it so we can sort of predict people's movement. The staff and the program has been super welcoming and super knowledgeable and it's an awesome experience. A lot of the, what we're trying to do is, is uh, you know, help take robots out of the sort of uh, factories where they're sort of separated from people doing the same motion over and over again towards trying to get robots that can interact with people in the real world, can navigate down a busy street, can be uh, autonomous cars that can uh, help people in their homes or in hospitals. Um, so we're doing the research on sort of human-robot interaction, on long-term autonomy, and on uh, a lot on robot manipulation, not just letting robots move around the world, but be able to pick things up and, and manipulate them like people do. I mean, we have to have students that have graduated and gone on to become uh, uh, faculty members and leaders in other, other universities. One of my former students, Josiah Hanna, is now faculty at University of Wisconsin in Madison. Um, we have a lot of, uh, from Mitch Pryor's lab, a lot of people have gone on to Sandia National Laboratories um, and other, other national laboratories that, that are working in, in robotics. Um, we have some startup companies based on, on robotics. Uh, Luis Sentis has a company in town called Aptronic. Uh, Andrea Tomas started a, a company called Diligent Robotics and so there's lots of students who are used to be at Texas Robotics that are making those uh, um, transitions of the technology into the real world.